Hi everybody, it's Celine from IamHandmade.com um, I'm just here to show you some items that I got in a recent swap with Michelle from Two Blooms Design Studio. Michelle emailed me and suggested a swap. She lives in Canada and um, she said she wants to try out some of my soaps and I've been following her blog for a while and her Facebook page and I was more than happy to um, do a swap because I really fancy trying out her soaps as well. So we decided on two soaps, um, a couple of samples, a lip balm and a body butter um, and she went one better than me. So um, I'm hoping hers arrives very soon. She lives in an island in Canada um, and I believe the post takes that bit longer to get to her. So she lives in Victoria, BC, and I'm afraid I don't know Canadian geography very well. So I'm not 100% sure where that is. Anyway, um, she, I probably know as much Canadian geography as she knows Irish geography. So we got, and I say we because Titch is videoing this. Hello. And will no doubt be using the soap because it goes in the bathroom and we all use it. So. The first one is her Roses in Bloom Vegan Luxury Soap and this smells amazing. Um, it's beautiful colours, I'll take the label off. Really, I love the colours, the soft pink and I love this sort of diffused white in here. And then she's got some real rose petals on top and it smells absolutely beautiful. Don't follow my face. <laughs> <laughs> it just smells really gorgeous and for this she used um, I'm just reading from the label. Olive, coconut, castor seed oil uh, and shea butter. And the scent in this, as well as all of these products, is 100% essential oils, which is um, excellent because it's something I haven't done yet. Actually, I think I have one soap that is 100% essential oils, uh, the mint one that I did recently, but I usually blend fragrance oils and essential oils together. Um, this is a beautiful soap, it's beautifully hard. I love the shape. I notice a lot of soapers are using this sort of long, tall uh, shape as opposed to the regular bar shape. Um, and I really like it and it actually works. We, we used a soap recently for another swap in the shower um, for the last while and it's pretty much this shape. Um, my husband's just walked in, so prepare yourself for some comedy, perhaps, or not. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's a great shape. It's handy to hold in your in your hand when you're in the shower. Um, I think it's a really nice nice idea. It's beautiful looking soap. It smells divine. Really, really nice. Second soap then is Sky Purely Natural Vegan Soap. And if I open this up, I believe she used. Now let me just check the label. She used um, clay in this. So there's organic pink clay in this um, and shea butter, uh, coconut, palm kernel oil, castor, castor oil, olive oil and also this is a, a, an aromatherapy blend of, go back to the soap, mm -hmm. aromatherapy blend of uh, essential oils and including ylang-ylang or ylang-ylang or ylang-ylang, I'm not sure how to say it. Lang -lang, I don't know. Actually, I don't know how to say it. So if there's any experts out there, you can tell me. I love the colours. This actually reminds me of chocolate, but that's maybe because I'm on a diet and I haven't had chocolate in months. Um, but that looks almost like you could bite through it. And this smells really nice again. It's nicely floral. Um, I, I'm not great at identifying fragrances, I'm afraid. But that's beautiful. I like ylang ylang is how I pronounce it. Um, a lot as fragrance but I know it's very heavy and some people might not like it again lovely size lovely shape very hard bar okay um, to go with the rose um, the roses in bloom she's also sent me a foaming rose uh, bath salts now I've seen bath salts before and I've seen other foaming products but I actually don't think I've seen a foaming ra rose or sorry foaming bath salts and she's put a few little bits of um, botanicals in I'm very glad for that because I'm not a big fan of a lot of botanicals in the bath because basically they can end up looking just big blobs of wet soggy mess at the end of the bath and I really don't like that so this foams which I am really looking forward to trying and I'm going to definitely have a bath, a long soaking bath very soon because at the moment life is just a bit stressy and stuff, probably for everybody these days. 
And then we got a Serenity Body Souffle. This is a body butter, um, but it is a water-based body butter, not like the, not like the um, uh, hundred percent oils and butter as body butters that I make. Um, it got a little bit dented in transit, but who cares? So if I open it up, you can see how creamy it is. It's really nice. Look at that. It's lovely. But it's really, it's really quite thick, and I have used a little bit. If you can see, I've already. Squidged it. Um, it's really quite thick. I'll put it down and rub this in. Um, so it lasts a really long time. And I love the fragrance of it. Again, it's a blend of essential oils. Here, touch the smell. It's really nice. nice. It's yeah. floral, but it's not overly. So it's not over. over no. Um, and I'll tell you the essential oils she has in here. Again, ylang ylang, uh, rose geranium, grapefruit, patchouli, which I love, tangerine, rosewood. So an amazing uh, blend, smells beautiful, um, better than I could do because I, I'm not the best fragrance blender. I'd use three max and that'd be about it. So that's a lovely um, cream. It's going to go in my handbag or maybe in work um, because I tend to use uh, hand creams much more in there. So that's beautiful. I'll leave back on. And then just two other items. First one is the, oh no, I'll do the soap. I don't know if this is a um, a sample bar or it's like um, a guest size bar. I'm figuring it's a guest size bar because that's just too big, I think, for a sample bar. Um, because this would weigh just slightly over 50% of one of these. So I'm thinking it's a guest size, maybe like wedding favor. This is beautiful. This is Evolution. And this smells of... I'm going to come off now. This smells of... Oh, wow. um, aniseed and i love the smell of I aniseed like really nice and again if i read that this is dead seed mud this is the one i was thinking was mud in and i figure that's where the this dark sort of khaki mm. brownie green comes from and uh dead seed mud and organic clay so i suspect the clay is in there um and this has olive oil coconut oil palm oil castor and cocoa butter and I love, you know, everybody knows that I love cocoa butter in a soap. Um, I think it brings just something really luxurious to it. I love it's like smoke clouds mm. here or something, isn't it? Lovely, yeah. Um, and this smells just gorgeous. I love, love, love it. This is so nice. Um, and I'm such a big fan of aniseed. And I have never tried it as an essential oil. And I'm wondering, is it just aniseed or is there other stuff in it, other fragrances? Because... I do wonder if you could use aniseed alone and it's not too overpowering. So I have to say of the three, this is my favourite. Probably this appeals more to men. I think it's your favourite. Yeah. Too, is it? well, um, probably appeals more to men, but I just, I just, it's dramatic. It's sort of, oh, it's beautiful. It's really, but they're all beautiful. Without a shadow of a doubt, they're all beautiful. Um, but this one, I don't know, it says something to me. So then the last item was her lip balm. And I'm a big fan of lip balms. I have lip balms all over the house. That's for sure. <laughs> Everywhere you can imagine, um, because I'm addicted to them. Um, this one is also fragranced, or flavoured, I should say, only with essential oils. And it's chai tea, as you can read. Um, now, she uses the same wax that I do, which is, uh, I think I'm pronouncing correctly, which is candelilla wax which I find um, leaves a very hard um, balm but very glossy effect which I really like and this also includes if I can read it uh, olive oil coconut oil cocoa butter avocado butter as well shea butter and coffee butter which I have no doubt gives it this lovely creamy color you can probably see I've used a little bit of it. Um, really like this. I'm, I'm surprised it has coconut oil in it. And I wonder how, what level of coconut oil. Because I'm actually slightly allergic to coconut oil on my lips. Not anywhere else for some reason. But on my lips. So maybe it's in combination with the others. That it works for me. Or maybe it's um, not a huge percentage. I'm not sure. But this one works for me. And other ones I've tried. Coconut oil. Even the ones I made myself. Just tore up my lips really really just shredded them nearly um so that's um just say thank you so much to michelle for doing the swap for suggesting it in the first place um for sending me these lovely things just really beautiful i'm just 
chuffed to get them, so thrilled. Um, and every single one of them will be used and um, thoroughly enjoyed by all of us here. Um, except for the body butter which I'm going to take and the lip balm which I'm going to take and probably these which I'm going to take. So the rest and, of us can only enjoy the soap. And so. I might take this one and then possibly the pink one. Titch is making a big face like a child now. And I might just take this too. So maybe they're all mine. And I'm just left. And then you can just thing. have this over here which is nothing. Okay, Titch, there's a good girl. Thanks very much, Michelle. Back, back, back. <laughs> Thanks very much, Michelle. Um, I just should say, Michelle makes the, these with her sister. Um, but I mostly talk to Michelle. She seems to do all the social media aspect of the company. So um, thanks, Michelle. And thank you to your sister. And um, lovely stuff. Really can't wait to use them. Thank you. And just say bye. From bye. Dublin and Ireland to Canada. Um, and I'm off to have a bath now. Bye. Bye.